Today, I'm going to show you how to send a video email. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I have thought about this for a while and I finally figured it out. You know, I've wanted to send email that's just a video because sometimes you get an email and it's just easier and quicker to record a message, just even the audio, sometimes the video, and get your message across without having to type it out. You know, there's so much that's lost in just the typed word. You know, sometimes people think that you're yelling at them or they're not sure if you're being condescending or sarcastic. So for me, it's really easy to just uh, record a message and send that out. I love doing video, obviously here, but one of the things that I was thinking, is there an easy way for me just to press record in Gmail, record a video and hit send? I didn't want to have to record a video, upload it to YouTube, you know, grab the shareable link, embed it in the email, that kind of thing. And I did find a service called Cloud HQ. I've actually used their website for some other things in the past. And I am really excited that they have this kind of low resolution solution video service for email. Now that's just fine because I'm not going to share screens and do really important stuff, but you know, there are just some times when you get questions that are maybe a little complex or maybe there's a little nuance and it's a lot easier to record a 30 second, 60 second video than it is to pound out six or seven paragraphs sometimes in an email. Well, let me show you how to do video in Gmail. Now this is specific to Gmail and it doesn't seem to work in anything else because you've got to kind of use a Chrome browser because you're going to use a Chrome extension. Now, now, I'm sorry for setting this up in a little bit of a getaway, but I can't use my webcam to record me and record the video email. So that's why I have to do it like this. First thing you want to do is install this Chrome extension, free video email by Cloud HQ. I have already gone ahead and installed it and you will have to use your Gmail account to log into it. And that's actually because when you record a video, it's actually going to store it in the cloud, Cloud HQ, and it's going to embed it in your email. And so you can go back to Cloud HQ and see the videos that you have recorded in the past. Now, once you have this extension installed, here you can go ahead and open up one of your gmail compose windows here i am just going to email and i'm going to call it a test video and i'm going to put nothing here which would be kind of typical of sending a video email no written text and then down here by your send button you will see now a little video camera icon and you are just going to go ahead and click on that it'll pop open this additional window here and what you will see is that it will name this video whatever you put in the subject line you can change some of the effects i don't think i need that and you can also change the zoom here if you want Again, I don't need that. And you will have a little record button right here. Now, what's really cool about this is that you can actually pause your recording and then resume it. So it's kind of nice if it's like, hey, Ted, thanks for asking me about that. Yeah, I do have that information for you. And then you're like, oh, where's that information? I'll just pause it and you're going through your stuff. Oh, here it is. And then you can come back and resume and say, hey, the information that you needed is uh, 3.14159. There you go talk to you later and then just hit pause again and now you will just finish now i will say up here at the very top of this little window on chrome you have another little video camera icon so if you need to change your inputs like the webcam or the microphone this is where you would do that you actually do that in your chrome settings so it's just using your default video and microphone inputs if you're on a laptop it's probably no big deal if you're like me and you have an external microphone then you might have to go in and change those so just be aware of that. Then once you're done with this, you just hit finish right here. And what it'll do is it'll compress it, upload it to the Cloud HQ website, and then embed it into the email. And what you can see here is it creates like a YouTube-like thumbnail. Uh, you can't click on it here right now, but it does create a link. So you could actually click on that and it'll open up a new browser tab and it will play it on the Cloud HQ website. But I'm going to just hit send right here and then go right here and show you what it sends me. And you can see that video is embedded right there. But if for some reason they're on a device where it's not showing it embedded, they can click on the link and it'll take them to the Cloud HQ website for that particular video. But you can just hit play right there. Hey, Ted, thanks for asking me about that. Yeah, I do have that information for you. You can say, hey, the information that you needed is uh, 3.14159. There you go. Talk to you later. And then. 
So, like I said, it's kind of a low res. It looks like you shot a video on a BlackBerry or something, but it's usually just fine for communicating. And obviously, they don't want to, you know, use their servers and all that storage capacity for these high resolution videos that don't need it. But for me, you could see that even though I pause that video, it's nice because it kind of splices it all together with the jump cut. So, even if I have to take a break, you get interrupted while you are recording your video, your kid walks in, your dog barks, the doorbell rings, something like that. It's not a big deal. You can keep recording on that same video stream and it's really nice and the nice thing is they can just hit play they can see you i think it actually adds another dimension of kind of that personal relationship even though we're trying to do a lot of things digitally and for me it's makes it a lot easier when i have to answer a complex question that might require more in-depth answer and usually i can explain it and have hand gestures and kind of um, focus or elaborate on certain things that i want without having to just put it in a very drab email that might be really long and maybe even take me longer to do so if you want to send email that is actually video check out the free video email service by cloud hq i will put a link to the chrome extension in the description below peter von panda out